7 Action News is making it our goal to help Metro Detroiters navigate through the financial crisis with our initiative, The Rebound Detroit. Tonight, our Amira David is here with advice for anyone considering deferring their mortgage payments. As homeowners are struggling to pay their bills, many are looking to their mortgage company for the option of taking a forbearance. But as we're finding out, there are some things you need to consider. They said they would skip three payments. When Jan from Chesterfield Township was told she could take a three month forbearance, she initially felt relieved. That is until she heard this. But then on eight one, I would have to send them $4,581 meaning she would have to pay one lump sum once the forbearance period was done. Like many homeowners across the country, Jan has been considering whether she should take advantage of the new policy offered by the CARES Act that allows federally backed mortgage borrowers to put a pause on payments for up to a year. The, the rule isn't clear now about repayment. Personal finance expert Joe Saul Sihai tells me borrowers need clearer guidance before pulling the trigger. And I think that that there are some people that think that this is a little like the PPP, where they're hearing about businesses getting these uh, forgiven loans that they don't have to pay back. This is not a suspension of the loan. You will have to repay, but the question you have to ask is when. You could be expected to pay all of your missed payments at one time, spread them out over a period of months, or add them as additional payments at the end. Jan was hoping to add the payments on the back end of her loan so she could catch up. Paying a balloon amount, she says, wouldn't do her any good. That's not helping me any, especially if my husband just passed, so it's really not helping me any. You have to know what you're getting into beforehand. Don't just say, cool, I don't have to pay my mortgage for the next three or four months. The good news for those who choose the forbearance is that it won't affect your credit score. However, and this is the part that we're not hearing about, it will be on your credit report that you got forbearance. That means it could hurt your chance of getting a loan in the future. If you can pay, just continue to pay, right? Absolutely, if you can pay, you really want to. But if you are looking for a way to bring down your mortgage bill, Saul High says, consider a home refi. If, if you're lucky enough to be healthy and you have a job right now, interest rates are incredibly low. So here's the rebound rundown. Take the forbearance only if you absolutely have to. Make sure you understand what you will owe and when. And consider refinancing while rates are low. If you have a question, concern, a struggle, or even a great rebound story you think we should know about, we do want to hear from you. So email us, rebounddetroit at wxyz.com. I'm Amira David, 7 Action News. Yes, we are listening. Thank you, Amira.